Welcome to yet another episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. I'm your host Mess, and as per usual, I'll be taking a look at a single game. The game in question this time is the CD32 version of Battle Chess. Battle Chess was originally developed by Interplay, but according to the Hall of Light, a little known company called Almathera did the porting to the CD32. Back in the late 80s, Battle Chess was one of those games you'd put on your Amiga 500 when your non-Amiga owning friends came around to show off the awesome capabilities of this new machine. Back then the animations when the different pieces moved around the board and fought each other was simply breathtaking, nothing less. This was also a good game to put on when you wanted to show grown-ups that playing computer games wasn't a complete waste of time. Look, you can play chess, that's what smart kids do. For the few of you who may not know, Battle Chess is a chess game in which you play chess. You just play regular chess, either against the computer or against another person. The thing is though, that as opposed to other chess games, where the focus is on the game of chess and on creating a good AI to play against, Battle Chess focuses on livening the game of chess up a bit by adding lots of fun little animations. The whole chess board comes alive as you move around not boring wooden chess pieces, but actual soldiers, knights, living castles and a king and a queen. When two pieces meet in battle, that is when you take one of your opponent's pieces, an animated sequence takes place wherein one of the pieces defeat the other. The outcome is always given, it has to follow the rules of chess, but it's great fun to watch nonetheless. There are so many of these animated sequences that you never get bored playing battle chess. Fast forward to 1994 when the CD32 version of battle chess was released. So what's new in the CD32 release? Hmm, let's see. I don't remember the tutorial being there in the original. Certainly not fully voiced. Let's have a quick look at that, shall we? <coughs> Welcome to Battle Chess, the first fully animated computer chess game. This is the tutorial and I am the king. To introduce myself, I am His Excellency, the Bishop. I'm a powerful figure in modern day chess. But I was not always a bishop. At various times in chess history, I have been known as the sage, the old man, the fool, the count, the spy, and the thief. Apart from that tutorial though, nothing's changed really. A bit disappointing. Yes, there is one big difference. The computers sometimes take bloody ages to take a single move. I don't recall that being as big a problem in the original but maybe I've just grown restless in the years that have passed. Let's take a look at what the reviewers back in the day had to say about the CD32 version of Battle Chess. Amiga Format didn't like it one bit. They gave the game a 48% score, saying, play chess like this on the Amiga CD32 and you might as well fetch the board game from the under the stairs cupboard. They didn't care for the graphics or sound at all, it seems. The German magazine Amiga Joker gave the game 68%, lamenting the fact that not much had happened since the original release. Looking back on reviews of the original release, the reviewers were far more satisfied, with CU Amiga giving it an 85% score while the one gave it 84%. But this is the CD32 version we're looking at, and seeing as 6 years has passed between the original release and the CD32 version, I don't think it would be fair to dwell on the reviews of the original for too long. Battle Chess is a classic Amiga game, one that every Amiga owner should be proud to own. On the CD32 I would steer clear of it though. There's simply not enough new here. I give it a 2 out of 5 rating. If the computer opponent had been a little faster at doing its moves, I would have given it 3 I guess. 